Hey there, Ms. Oliveris here, and uh, today we're gonna learn how to factor a trinomial. Uh, we're gonna start with the easy one, which is called the baby factoring, wherein A is equal to one. When you say trinomial or factoring trinomial, we have three terms, the AX squared plus BX plus C, wherein A is the leading coefficient, the number beside X squared. BX is the middle term, wherein it has just the X, and C is the constant. When A is equal to one, this may be factoring because it's the easy level of factoring trinomial. And some people, they call it the opposite of uh, FOIL, okay? Trinomial here, this is the answer when you FOIL two binomials, when you FOIL binomials, when you multiply binomials. Like, if this one, you always just write X and X here. If, like this, this is equal to one, so you just write there A and A automatically, okay? So there you go. So you have to think of two numbers when you multiply them, give you the C, Let's put here 7, because that's your C. And the B is 8. You have to think of two numbers. When you multiply them, gives you the 7. When you add them, gives you 8. So what is that? Two numbers, 7 and 1. You're right. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So therefore, the answer is plus 7 plus 1. You can swap the 1 and 7, put the 1 here and 7. It's, it's not going to change the answer that's right number two a squared plus 6a minus 16 all right so think of two numbers when you multiply them gives you negative 16 the c when you add them gives you a six okay so what is that that's going to be eight and two but since this is negative 16 their sign should be different and the b is six so this will be positive 6, and this is negative 2. Because 8 times negative 2 is negative 16, 8 minus 2 is 6. So this will be minus 2 plus 8. You can swap them, but they have to carry their signs. So you have to have a plus 8, a minus 2. One of this one is correct, okay? Not a problem. Number 3, k squared minus 7k plus 10. So that's already 1 there, so k and k automatically again this for the baby factoring wherein k a is equal to one you have to think of two numbers when you multiply them gives you a 10 when you add them gives you a negative seven so i can think it's five and two but five times two is ten that's right but five plus two is not negative seven but negative five minus two will give me a negative seven and negative five times negative two will still give me a positive ten so the answer is negative five here and negative two easy right Number six. Number six is slightly different from one to three because the value of A here is not equal to one. But this is still baby factoring because what's common to them? Six, four, two, and seven, and two. They're all divisible by six. So we're factoring out by GCF. So divide by six, six, and six, and put the six outside there. That gives you M squared minus seven M plus, what's 72 divided by six? I think that's 12. Yep, I'm right. Now, if you will focus on your work over here now, this same thing as number one, two, and three, wherein you can factor this one, M and M, but drop the six there. What two numbers, when you multiply them, gives you a 12, when you add them, gives you a negative seven. Four and three is right. Four times three is 12, and, but four plus three is not negative seven, but negative four times negative three is, neg is positive 12. And when you subtract them, it's going to be negative 7. So minus 4, minus 3. Easy. And last one here. 2x squared, 2x minus 12. They're both divisible by 2, so I'm going to divide them all by 2. x squared plus 1x minus 6. And now you can focus on your trinomial. What two numbers, when you multiply them, gives you a negative 6. When you add them, gives you a positive 1. That will be 3 and 2. Since that's a negative, one of them is negative, one of them is positive. I'll pick that this to be positive and negative because when you add 3 and negative 2, it has to be 1. So I'm going to put here plus 3 and minus 2. And drop their GCF here. I hope you learned something. And code. Have a good day. Kaboom.